Welcome guys back to Ocarina Time Randomizer. In the last episode we started the Spirit Temple, the Child Side, got a couple more things done, and today we're going to hopefully finish up the Child Side of the Dungeon. Maybe. Depends what my dog lets me do. You probably hear in the background, just ignore her. If you can ignore that cute puppy. If you want to see her when she was a puppy, I have a video. I, actually, I think I probably hit that one. Because who wants to see my doggy? You know what I mean? Like, it's not your dog. <laughs> it's not a crazy video either. It's not like she's doing anything crazy. She's a great pupper, though. But uh, she was in my update video. We just came back in from a walk. And she was just a tired girl. So cute. So I think we're right next to the end of this dungeon. And then we're going to go do some other stuff. Because we're almost out of things to do for Child Link at this time. So maybe we'll actually become Adult Link. Which just opens up more things to do. Not a whole lot as much as you'd think because we're missing a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh. I hope I have a bomb chew left. I just thought of this. Because you're supposed to get a bomb chew when you do this right here. Did I hear Eliza? Dude! We just fought you guys last step. Was it? The episode before last, maybe. Okay. I feel like I'm playing a uh, Smash Wii U. Everyone just keeps dodge rolling. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. I don't care though. We got two chests. Guys. Two dungeons done. And we have over half the health in the game. That's crazy. And a key. So that's cool. We can proceed. Please, please, please do not miss this chase. Because who knows when you'll be getting bombed you. Oh, wait, you can target it. Sweet! Awesome. Yeah, I think that's everything in here. Because you're supposed to get bombed you. It's the first time you get bombed you without buying them, as far as I'm aware. Was that another one? you get anything for killing him? Did everything respawn? What? That's weird. And we still don't have Den's fire. Therefore, we cannot do that down there. So that sucks. Hmm. So hopefully we get magic meter and Den's fire soon, because we don't have either. And here, you can get that skull chilla if you have, if you're adult Link and you have the scarecrow song, which I still haven't changed yet, but I will soon. Once I do a little bit of cleanup. All right, this room is crazy. This room is crazy. There is so much going on in this room. Also, those dudes have like teeth on their stomachs. So weird. Bemos? Like, what made them put teeth on their stomachs? That's such a weird design. So, there's a whole bunch of things you can do in this area. Like, look at the teeth. So weird. Looks like a Doom monster. I got Doom on my mind because my cousin Alston has a YouTube channel and go check it out. It's Alston. I'll put, I'll tag at the end of the video. But he's been playing a lot of Doom and Heretic and all those good old school shooters. So if you've been in the mood to watch some of those, make sure you check him out because he's really good at them. I did not grow up with them. I actually wasn't allowed to play first person shooters when I was little. I think the first first per the first first person shooter I got into was Halo 2. And yes, I did grow up in N64 era without GoldenEye or Perfect Dark. So feel sorry for me in the comments below. 
Of course, from what I've heard, they haven't aged well. Of course, I've also heard recently, this game hasn't aged well, so... Whatever, right? Oh, but for some reason, my dad wanted to play Duke Nukem with me. Which is weird. We never got past the second level. So, he didn't see all the strippers and stuff that's in the game. You don't really see anything, but it gets pretty raunchy. He didn't see all that stuff, so... We just played the first level in the hardest difficulty. We never beat it, but <laughs> it was always fun to do. Just good memories. Alright, now... We got Den's Fire we can do, and we still got... Where's that? Did we grab all the rupees? I just kind of got sidetracked talking. I don't really remember if we got all the rupees. Is that bad? Holy crap. Wow. That's scary. I really don't remember what just happened with the rupees. Did it open the other door? I don't remember. <laughs> and it just happened. I'm not even gonna lie. Was it a treasure chest? Not opened already? Oh my god. I just started talking about old school shooters and stuff and my mind just went away. I did it. I was on autopilot. Because I know the sun puzzle opened that door. I know that. And also know these chests suck. Like, as great as this run has been, we haven't gotten anything in order to do the adult dungeons. And I know I'm screaming at the screen in the future watching this again. So I know you guys are doing it as well. Let me just check something real quick. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. I'm going off of memory right now. And I've only been in Ocarina of Time once on the GameCube version. I never beat it on the 64 back then. I don't know why. Don't ask. I just never beat it. Maybe it was too hard for young me. But also... I beat it on the GameCube, and I beat it on the 3DS a whole bunch of times. Okay, luckily we have another key, so we can finish this part of the dungeon. The child part. But, there's a Skullchilla behind us. And I want to talk about what would be really cool. I don't know if this would work, only if there's the same amount of chest in both versions. But, Master Quest... I think it would be really cool if in the randomizer there was an option to randomize whether you get master quest dungeons and regular dungeons. So like the forest temple from master quest but then the regular temple and then vice versa. I know that would be really hard for them to program but that's just an idea I had. Like we'd be playing the right now there's like a Skullchilla in the Master Quest version where you have to have him knock down a pillar. It's one of the hardest Skullchillas to find in my opinion. Alright, let's wake up this bad boy. So there's how much damage he does. Just so you guys know, that's clearly why I got hit. Just to show you guys that. So let's just bait him. Now he's going to be mad, because he's losing. Alright, he's already dead. Sorry I didn't talk much, I was actually concentrating there. Because, like I said, that guy does a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Let's meme it up. Why not? <laughs> Alright, what do we get for all of our hard work? It's going to be either the map or the compass. Or it's a piece of heart. We didn't get that much at all in there. But we finished it as far as I'm aware. Unless I missed a treasure chest or something. So let's just see. 
Oh, I can't check because I'm... Whatever. So now, doing some very small cleanup. <laughs> I know I'm pausing a lot. I don't know all these songs. Nope. So we're going to go to Lake Hylia. The Fix the Scarecrow song. Because holy crap, that was awful. Let's see. Bump, 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 bump. In fact, there's going to be a little bit of cutting. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. There's the bottle I can't grab. Of course, it could be anything. I like that they put bubbles there. That way you knew something was there. That's clever game design. Since it's required. Oh, I guess I'm back, by the way. If I even cut, because that was like 10 seconds at most. So let's fix this song. They're beautiful. Beautiful song. Alright, I think there's one more grotto we can get. That has an item in it. If I haven't gotten it already. In the failure episode. The best worst episode. Ooh, there is... Something else we can start. We can just start it. I might do that. That might be a good idea to go ahead and start it. But what I'm basically thinking is starting the mat. Er, I almost said mat. The mask quest. Because it has. The mask of truth, yes, but. It gives you two drops out of it because the skull mask and the mask of truth, you can get. Oh man, that's bright. You can get two items thanks to the weird Deku scrubs. And now I, I'm just rolling with the lingo. If I just say Deku or Deku, just roll with the guys for me. So there's the young that like just die eventually on their own. So I don't know how they grow big. Alright, let's see what we got. What we got, what we got. Was this worth? Nope. But now we know. I think that was the last chest in Hyrule we could get till we get the iron boots or the gold scale. I think. So, what would be quicker? Teleporting? Using Kakariku? Kakariku? Oh my god. Kakariku or just walking backwards? You know what, this is different scenery. How often do you see this area over here? Because is that a heart piece normally in the base game? Because people probably don't go over there in their playthrough like ever. I might do the map quest real quick. Just to the skull one because we can't do all of it. Yep, I think that's what we're going to do. This guy's based off of Miyamoto, by the way. Unless that's fake... Fake news. Excuse me. There we go. It's because I was pushing B. So we're going to switch... To a Keton mask. Keton mask. And after playing Majora's mask, and then coming back to these... You're just like, man, these don't do squat. Like you'll talk to people, and you might get a reaction out of them. But normally it's something stupid. Hey kid, can't you see we're busy? Okay, so he doesn't even say anything. A mask? When I was a little kid, I wore a mask around. What? You say you can't imagine me doing that? Why? I guess it's just that thing when kids are like... I can't imagine you being a young, a young person. You're too old. 
I don't know what that was. So now we got this cool mask. But we're just trying to get rid of it, honestly. Because we want the mask after this one. So I'll see you guys when I make it to the dude that I want to actually sell it to. Meatloaf, meatloaf, meatloaf. Meatloaf is underrated. Here is the mask. Yep. So now you get to see something you hardly ever see once you assign a button to the C stick. C buttons. It is empty. I know that sounds kind of silly, but that's the only time that that really happens. Well, I guess unless you also like run out. No, because it turns into zero. I was going to say you run out bombs. But it doesn't disappear. So there's a little bit of useless trivia for you. Alright. Yep, I sold the mask, but I didn't get any money, so I end up just paying it out of pocket. Yay. Link's face in these are so funny. When you pause. Like, he looks like... Evil. Okay, reset. Hey guys, I'm actually lost in the Lost Woods. <laughs> is it this way? Yeah, okay, this is where I wanted to go. Here's where you can plant the seed if you want to get all the Sculptulas. Which we might do later on. Alright, so what you do is you get on this map specifically and go up here. And this is where they got the model in Majora's Mask for all the scrubs. I always wondered that when I was little, because I don't think I found this. So they like... Go crazy, and you walk over here. And then this one talks to you. You look exactly like our sacred forest totem! Dude! Sweet! Now, the bad part is we can't use it. Because we don't have... We don't have magic. Which, luckily, we didn't need magic in the... Spirit Temple. The child version of it. Luckily, we didn't need that. And I got like bug bites because I was outside playing with my doggy. Bugs are crazy right now. Mosquitoes. Ah, oh, what was I doing? I was planting a seed. We gotta get those seeds planted, Morty. Okay. Hey guys. Everything looks wrong here, like the coloring. That's weird. <laughs> so, I'm not going to click it. But if you check right here, as a kid, it will tell you which dungeons the three spiritual stones are in. We know where two of them are because we have it. But I don't want to know where the Garon's Ruby is. I want it to be a surprise whenever I do a dungeon. But, we get to finally... Become an adult, guys. And just like that, the Master Sword is ours. See, guys, I wasn't lying about having the door of time open. I don't know if anyone... Ooh, that looks good on you. That's a good collar. It's like... Maybe I haven't noticed, but it's kind of like a little bit bluish. Just a tiny bit. I like it. It's like a weird ghost type tunic. That's a good look for you, Link. In fact, actually no. There is a white tunic in Melee. I don't know if it's in any of the other smashes. I think it's purple in 64, the fourth one. It's the three tunic colors, I think purple. And then in Melee, they added white and black. 
And then Brawl, they added Dark Link. And then Fierce Deity and Smash. Uh, 3DS and Wii U. So, now that we're adults, we can adult. There's two things I could think of immediately. Three things. Four, five. Five things <laughs> I thought of the top of my head that we can do right now. Six. <laughs> we can do six things. I'm not going to name them all because I don't know how much we'll do in this episode. Because this episode has actually gone on a while. You won't see all of it, but I've been recording a good chunk so far this episode. But lucky for you guys, I care and I don't just leave in random bull crap that's not interesting. So you know how in, as a child you can you do the shooting mini game without the slingshot because the game assumes you already have it. Well, you don't get the arrow bow and arrow till you do the forest temple in the original game. So you can't do the bow and arrow game early. So this guy's story is the kid version of Link came in and played a song that like screwed up the windmill. And just the idea that it's just Mylon coming in here singing a song and then the windmill goes crazy is hilarious to me. <laughs> so that's what took place in the Sun song. So we'll mark that real quick. <laughs> that's amazing. So we could do an okay amount of the fire temple just thinking but there's a couple things we can do here like go up here because we planted that seed Morty man I've had to have gotten almost all of those now I've had to have. time for one of my these favorite parts of a randomizer run, even though I've never been in one of these. I've always done this though. So this isn't bad because your time doesn't really matter because you have a bunch of extra time, but there's a s tiny bit of RNG in here, like randomness, where he throws the fire so when you go for the second prize, which is when you do it, I think underneath a minute. See, right now I don't really care, so I'm not really trying. Because as long as you make it, you're fine. Which I think you got till a minute five to do that. If I remember correctly. But I know the path, and I know the quickest way. Well... I assume it's the quickest way, I don't know. But you're supposed to follow him, but right here you could go straight. It's just a tiny bit faster. Nothing too crazy, so... Like I said... We're not going to hit the minute, but that's fine because you have to do this twice. Alright, so let's see what he gives us the first time. He normally gives you the hook shot here. But... Like everything else, almost, in the game, it's randomized. So today we get... Bombchu. Neat. But he actually has another prize for us. And this is a speedrun trick I learned. What happens if you put the ice arrows on? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Boring. So I have the bow and arrow, but I don't have the bow and arrow. But I'm going to take that off just in case. I don't think we have the Song of Time. New. No. So what you do is you... Screw up like I did. Well. Crap. I'll see you guys in a second. You know what? I got an idea.
I want to do this now. I know I said I would see you guys in a second for the other Dante, but I want to know what this song is right now. So first, let's see what this... Oh, I guess we're doing this first. What do we got? <laughs> it's actually a piece of art. That's neat. Alright. I know, I'm cutting around. Everyone's like, oh god, he's going to get lost again. Okay. This is... I think there's two uses for this. Two, three really important uses for this song in the randomizer. <sighs> One second left. <sighs> okay, was it worth? <laughs> sure. No hook shot. I was hoping you would actually give me the hook shot. Man. Let's go ahead and get the Scarecrow song, even though we can't warp here. I knew you couldn't warp from this place, but... <sighs> yes, Navi. Yes. See you guys in a second. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> so, just where you, I checked the spiritual stones, you can check the spiritual stones as an adult. Excuse me. And you can get uh, the locations of all the medallions. Like which dungeon they're in. Like I said, I don't like doing that. Just like I don't like talking to the Gossip Stones and getting hints about where all the items are. So our last goal is to go ahead and get the Scarecrow song just so I could go ahead and get it. Because I have a habit of not remembering this. Alright. And I believe... Man, I got it in so many haze, don't I? <laughs> Alright, I believe that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're finally an adult! And we got a couple more songs. It's funny that we got those two songs, actually. That's actually kind of funny. Alright. I'll see you guys in the next episode, where we are going to... I think, explore... Whoa! I didn't know that. If you got all the sculptulas, it tells you on the bottom of the map? What? Is that for this randomizer? Because I don't remember that. Leave me in the comments if that's... I remember something in the 3DS version doing that, but I don't remember the N64 version doing that. That's actually really cool. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode where we're going to, I think, explore Death Mountain and Kakariko. Then maybe we'll go to Zora's Domain, but I don't think there's anything to do there. We really need that hook shot and we need the arrows really bad, guys. Or the Song of Storms. We need those three things. Or else we can't really do anything. So I'll see you guys in the next episode where we get desperate. See ya then.